Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. It's Wednesday. What is the date? The 15th of May. Welcome, 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 everybody. We have one minute. Well, it just turned to 8.30, so let's see who's here this morning. I hope you had a nice week so far. It's nice and warm here in California. Today is going to be in the high 80s, and for me, that's perfect. I know it's a little hot for some others. Hi, Diane. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Today, I am working with um, a stamp set called Round We Go. It's Well, actually, it's a bundle, and in your new catalog, it's on page 63, and I think it's a very, very festive um, bundle, and it's a very great one for home decor as well. Um, dancing up some frames, of course, always adding to your scrapbooks, that type of thing. So I think it's a really fun, fun bundle. Hi, Viola. Um, I'm going to turn it into a graduation card this time because this time of year, everybody's needing graduation cards all the way from nursery school to college to doctorates and that type of thing. So you can make this card really, really, really elegant, fancy for an adult graduating from college, or you can make it fun and cheery for a child graduating from nursery school. It just depends what you've got going. All right, um, I am your host, Beverly Morales. I'm gonna start with my housekeeping. I live in Tracy, California, and I've lived here my whole life. Yep, born and raised. I moved to Colorado for a short time once and got so homesick I came back. Um, so, yep, Tracy is my hometown. I've been a demonstrator for 29 years and I loved every minute of it. I have a host code. What does that mean? That means if you wanna place an order with me, you can go online, hi Karen, and um, you can look for my name, Beverly Morales, and you can, uh, Place your order there. Hey, Vicki, welcome. Vicki's from Oregon. That's right, right, Vicki? Oregon. Um, so let me turn you down and show you what my host code is and then let you know what my website is where you can order from me, beverlystamps.stampinup.net. And if you would share or sprinkle my videos, I would love that. By the comment section, there should be a little forward arrow. Hi, Becky White. And if you uh, share with a friend, I would truly appreciate it. I'm trying really hard to grow. So sharing um, my channel on Facebook with everybody is a, a something I would really appreciate. Or send them to YouTube, to Beverly Morales. Okay, let me turn you down. I see people are popping in now. And I've got to turn you around. Hey, Claudia. There we go. Oops, it's a little high, I can't see. Let me push this down a little bit. I'm trying to get something to disappear and it won't do it. Hmm. Okay. I'm having to be on my tiptoes. This is really high for me today for some reason. I don't know what I did. Okay, so here's uh, my host code. That's where I started. It's 9BTTWHM3. I'm going to try something. Hold on. I've got something in my way, and it won't disappear as normal as it usually does. Nope, it's going to stay there. Okay, and there is my YouTube channel, Beverly Morales. And my email, mofun44 at icloud.com. Can you guys let me know? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Ah, <laughs> sorry about that. When I was trying to make that disappear, it went all kinds of directions. Okay, so here we go again. Mofun44 at icloud.com for my email. And Beverly Morales is my YouTube channel. And shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. Whew, I probably made you guys dizzy with that one. Here is the card that I made last week. And um, I wanted to tell you who the winner is. Her name wouldn't print out, so I had it did go in the wheel, so I had to write it out. 
but here it is, Barbara Carter. Barbara, I think you're new with me, so I need you to email me at my address that I just showed you. Let me show you again, right here, and send me your address so I can mail this card out to you. Congratulations, Barbara. I hope you really like this set. Um, I got a lot of compliments on that, so I hope you enjoy this festive birthday card. Okay, let's go to page 63, and you can see the bundle right here. Round we go bundle. It is so much fun. When I walked through the catalog, I told you guys that this is one of the first stamp sets I was gonna get, and I was not kidding. I got it, and just like I thought, I love it. Lollies and I are friends. What's a lolly? Lolly is a round 3D, um, well, let me just show you the card. Show you the lolly part. Here we go. This is the lolly. What do you guys think of that? Look at the celebrate on there in gold. This is a new in color. I wanted to share the new in colors with you. Um, this one is Summer Splash. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm really liking the new in colors. They are fun, bright and cheery for sure. Then uh, some gold um, paper here for the Celebrate and some little, opal rounds in gold just to highlight the card just a smidgen more the beautiful folder dotted circles page 129 of the annual catalog look how pretty all those dots are there in the card thank you for the hearts i'm glad you like it and here is the stamp set Round we go, look at all the items in there, and then the coordinating dies. I told you I was turning this into a graduation card, and then this sweet set, Pocket Thoughts, which I'm very excited about as well. It has a diploma, and so I use this set for the inside of the card. And these are available now, the Wanted to Say dies, they are an online exclusive. That's where you'll find the Celebrate. That's also where you'll find in the same set is the Happy Birthday that I did last time. Okay, so let me move this aside and get started. We need, let me move my envelope here. We need some scrap. I'm using Pretty in Pink for this card, um, cardstock. And I'm just gonna take a retired circle punch. Any size will work, but mine is one and a quarter. I'm gonna punch out a circle for my lolly. You are gonna, I'm gonna use hot glue to get my lolly to stay round. I tried um, our Tombow glue and I tried our um, tear and tape and it did pop. I do not want these to pop, so I'm going to go to hot glue for my for my lollies. Um, here is the Pretty in Pink ink that I'm gonna use. And I think I'll start with the inside of the card. I've got something on there. So on the inside of the card, it, I stamp, this is your time to celebrate, and then the um, diploma. This is your time to celebrate, is in the Round We Go stamp set. This is your time to celebrate. I already have those stamps on blocks, so let's open up our stamp pad, since I'm going to Pretty in Pink this time. So this can be, remember I said um, little girls, or I mean uh, preschoolers, that type of thing. My stamp pad was giving me a little bit of problem. There we go. So this one could be for a little girl. Tap, tap, tap. Time to celebrate. 
You know what? I better check my stamp to make sure I cleaned it good from the other color. Time to celebrate. What did I put in here? Oh, I just, I put, this is your time to celebrate and I took out the wrong stamp. So this is time to celebrate on this one's gonna be a little bit different. And then here's the diploma. Again, make sure I cleaned it from the other color. It's photopolymer and I really can't tell, so I'm gonna make sure. Okay, so here's the diploma. And I'm just gonna stamp this in the bottom corner here. That cute. And then here's the little filler for the diploma here. You could do this in gold, it's a seal, but I'm making it simple and I'm just doing color on color, very monochromatic. There we go. Okay. Close up my stamp pad. And then I've got a four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock. And I'm just gonna fold that over on itself. and take my bone folder and burnish. We got a quiet group today. You guys good? All right, let's open this up and let's set this right on the inside of the card and the inside will be finished for a little girl. Gonna use my Tombow glue for that. A lot of people ask me why I use the Tombow liquid glue, and there are many reasons. The two top reasons are is because I can uh, move things around if I place them crooked, and it's so it's the least expensive of the adhesives. So I want. I mean, I know I'm going to be using a lot, so I want to go the least expensive way I can. Okay, so now we have the layer piece here on top in all the dots with the folder. So let me move my card out of the way. And I have a four by five and a quarter layer piece of pretty in pink. And I'm gonna take that to my folder. Here is my stamp and cut and emboss machine with platform number one, my paper, and my folder. This folder is huge. We've never had one this size, but <clears throat> so because it's so big, I'm going to not use the black line like I always do to make sure things are straight. I'm gonna concentrate more on the pattern and getting the circles where I want it on the cardstock so I can place my lolly on that circle. Okay, I'm going to have, I'll get it there and then I'll explain. So this, this major main circle right here, I have it about, let's see, about an inch and a half down from the top. So it's centered towards the top of the card base. Lay it on my platform, then lay platform number four on top and run it through. Look at this gorgeous paper now. Wow, I just love this so much. If I missed, I'm not getting any, um, you know what, I said you guys were quiet but I know now that my comments are not coming through because of this thing that will not disappear. So I can't see your comments, darn it, but I will on the replay, so that's not to worry. Okay, so this is gonna go right on the card base, color on color. All right, I'm gonna set that aside now. I'm gonna take this platform away, and I'm gonna take platform two and three, and I'm gonna cut out my celebrate. So the die 
is from, uh, wanted to say, the ones that I told you that are online exclusives, that is uh, code 161594. Oh, annual catalog, it says. Sorry, I keep saying online exclusive. It's in the annual catalog. My bad. Okay, so let's cut that out. And then I'm also going to cut out the backing to celebrate. So that die has the, um, the word celebrate and then the backing. So let's cut those out so you can see how that works if you haven't seen that before. Another platform number three goes right on top, and away we go. I'm gonna come back just so I can reach it with my left hand right here. Okay, so this is post-it note tape that I have holding it down so it didn't move. And this will be in the trash now. And then here is the solid. There we go, there is the solid. Let's put my dies away so I don't lose them. And then I need my take your pick tool to punch out my celebrate out of the die. Look how pretty this is. And then you're just gonna punch out the little piece of, that might stay in the L and the E's. And then this is gonna layer on top of each other like this. Gorgeous. Okay, let's set that here with the circle and put my die away. All right, now I have the lolly and a couple of the, what I call daisy dies. They're not daisies at all, I'll show you. Let me lay this lolly back down. <clears throat> so the daisy dies, so I don't confuse you, they cut out these. And I just call them daisies because they kind of look like daisies, but they're not. And then I'm gonna lay the lolly die, making sure I'm on the end because the tab is here, and tape it down. And I like to make sure that the scallops are all the way on the edge of the paper without going over and taping it down there. Okay, so we're gonna run these through. And again, I'm only going back, well, I don't know if I went the whole way. Okay, there. I'm only going backwards because it's easier for me to grab while I'm on live. Okay. Now, if I'm thinking correctly, I've cut everything out. So here are our daisies. Again, my take your pick tool. Pop that out, see how cute they are. The other one, darn, I hate when I can't see my comments. But if you're asking me any questions, I will answer you um, when I watch the replay. There's the other one. And these are actually going to layer on each other. Let me just glue that those down right now and get that together. See how cute they just fall into place like that? A little bit of the liquid glue. And then just alternate the petals as I'm calling them and let them set up together like this. Okay, then here's the lolly. Now you need to cut out two of these die cut lollies because just one is too short. You need to connect two together to make one lolly. So take your pick tool again to get this out. 
and it scores and everything for you. This is my post-it tape that I need to take off. And then here is the tab. So what you want to do is you want to fan fold. What I do is I push down with my thumb on the, on the score lines and up with my finger and pinch to get the nice fan fold. I already did the other one. I already cut another one. Actually, I cut another two out um, because I've been making quite a few of these lollies. And so I have my second one ready for us. And then here is the tab. Okay, there you go. So let's get another one here that I already folded up and have ready to go. So I wanna show you how to put these together. So you've got a tab here and you have scallops on one end and pointies on the other. So you wanna make sure that you've got them in the same direction. So I've got my scallops up here and my scallops up there and I'm good. Now I can use tear and tape because tear and tape is super, super strong and you don't have to wait for it to dry. You're gonna need your silicone mat because this tab is a little bit narrower than the actual tear and tape. So I'm just gonna place tear and tape on the tab but what I love so much about tear and tape is if it's wider or longer than you need, you can fold it up on itself and it just uh, becomes more tape for you. Pull off the protective backing and see how this is longer than I need. And this is at an angle and, I do, and, and the tear and tape is square. So I just fold it over on itself onto the tab. Okay. Now I want you to pay attention to mountain, which means it's going up, and then valley, fold, right? Okay, so let's take this one and place it on the valley fold right up to the seam of the tab. And then we're gonna press hard and we've got a long lolly now, okay? Um, I got a beautiful phone call the other day from one of you, and um, she was just so complimentary, and I just totally appreciate that. I love that you guys um, are having fun here and that your time is well spent. That I really, really appreciate knowing how you feel about my page. Okay, so let me explain this part as clearly as I can. It's not hard, but if you don't know it, you might get frustrated. So here's the tab again, right? You see that? And then this is a mountain here. You wanna place your tab underneath the regular lolly so it's making a valley. So mountain valley, you don't want to, you don't wanna see it like this and you don't wanna have two mountains next to each other. So that's what we're gonna do. More tear and tape there. I just use my silicone mat so because the tear and tape, like I said, is a little bit wider than, well, I can't do it that way. I'm a righty. So place that down, tear. That's why it's called tear and tape. Burnish. Burnishing is pressing the protective paper onto the adhesive. And then if you just pick at the middle, it'll come right up. You have excess, you fold it on itself. I know I'm repeating myself, but I want you to, to know how to use this so you're not um, afraid of it. So here we go, we're gonna put it together to make sure we have a valley there because we have a mountain on either side. Now I'm gonna press. Okay. So now you decide, do you want your lolly to have the pointy ends in the middle or do you want, and the scallops on the end or vice versa? Here on this one, I have the pointy end on the outside. So 
Let's put the pointy end on the inside this time. We're gonna scrunch this back up to have its shape and we're gonna take this circle that we punched out earlier. I'm gonna place that there and here's where the hot glue comes into play. I have my hot glue gun plugged in in advance so it's nice and hot and I'm gonna put a dollop of glue right in the middle of that circle. That should be enough. And then you're gonna take your lolly and you're going to push on the top and um, have the outside rim face out. So push on the top like this, all your fingers, and then till it makes a forms a little circle like that and then push down and you see the hot glue popping through the little hole. So just take all your fingers and push towards the top and then the bottom will push out. We do have to let that set a second for it to dry. You could set a block on top if you had something else to go do and then um, you're ready for the next move. We're gonna put some more hot glue on the daisies and then we're gonna stick them in the middle of the lolly. Let's put this together while that's setting up. Yep, it's, it's pretty much set up, but let's put this together. And I'm gonna just put liquid glue. What do I do? I squeeze out a little bit and then I take the nose of the applicator and push it around because you do not want too much glue on this thin little word or it will become messy. Just remember less is more. Leave a space dry of glue where you're gonna set your fingers so your fingers don't get full of glue, sticky. Okay. And Stick it down. I have to keep making sure I'm in camera because my camera is so high today, I can't see it. And then just form it into place on the background piece. Pretty that is. Now my daughter, her school colors are black. She's a vice, um, vice principal at a school and her colors at that school are black and gold. She saw this card and she asked me to make some for her students that she's had, that she's known since kindergarten that are graduating uh, this June and the black turned out so elegant. He's a uh, high school student is the one she was, is one of them that she's giving it to. Okay, so I put more hot glue in the center of the lolly and then I'm placing my daisies right like that. Isn't that adorable, you guys? Do you like them? Oh my gosh, I can just see these on picture frames, different things, just so, I just love them, I always have. Okay, now I'm gonna take some liquid glue and I'm gonna put it right across the center here like this. And then I'm gonna stick the Celebrate down at an angle and let that set up. Okay, let's take our card base and we're gonna take our layer piece, spin that around and put liquid Tombow glue around the, so the edges and in the middle a little bit. And then we're going to set this down, framing it with the card base evenly on all four sides. Okay, here it moved, I moved it when I was pointing out the all four sides, and this is exactly why I like the liquid glue, because if it moves, you can put it back and we're all good. All right, this is flat on the back because of the circle I put on there, right? So I'm just gonna load it up with liquid glue and set it down on my card. Now, is this not even an adorable birthday card? Oh my goodness, I just, I just love them both. You can do school colors. 
and I'm here to volunteer to make graduation cards for you. If Stampin' Up! has the colors you need, um, just email me. And uh, remember, they're thick, so they're not good for the mail. You'll have if I want to, uh, if you want me to mail them to you. There's going to be extra postage costs for that. But these are cards, like my daughter's doing, is handing handing them out. Here is the Opal Rounds assortment, also in the annual catalog on page 115. Back to my Take Your Pick tool, and I'm going to take a gem and just set it there. Then I'm gonna take two small ones. There's various sizes in this package. And set one here. It just gives a little added shimmer and shine. Should be using the other side of this tool. There we go. Let's put this one over here. Space them out a little bit. And there we go. Now my daughter took the black and gold one to work already, but it kind of looked like a tuxedo. It's just gorgeous. Now I have one more thing to show you um, that I have ready today for with this set. I talked about home decor and how much I love home decor. Okay, let's, oh, thank you. I saw a heart, but like I said, I can't see anything else. So I don't know what you guys are thinking. All right, are you ready for the home decor little item? So the lolly is flat on the card, right? Okay, look what happened. Remember when I squished up the center and, the, and then it went flat? Well, if you squish up the center and don't let it get flat, you get a flower. Look at this flower. This is just a green polka dot straw and then I made my leaves with my circle punch. I've shown you guys how to do that before, but I'm gonna show you real quick right now in case you haven't seen that before. So I ran some paper through the same folder. Here is my black and vanilla checked ribbon. And look at this lolly is big enough for a butterfly to just be landing right on this flower. What is this all in? When I attend a garage sales or estate sales, I'm always looking for salt shakers. And sometimes I'm lucky and I get like a group of 12 and I use them for little vases and various other things. So this, this uh, flower is stuck into a vintage salt shaker ribbed. Really, really, really cute. I just love this. Now I can make longer and shorter flowers and have a whole bouquet in here to stand it up I just put some hot glue on the bottom of the straw and stuck it in the jar and then put my hot glue gun in here like this and squirted hot glue in there and then let it set up. And now I have a cute, cute display item. Here's the back. I just covered it with another circle. This is a one inch circle and the back looks adorable as well. Now, if you do not know how to make a, um, a leaf out of a circle. Let me grab some green paper, just make it more realistic. All you have to do is punch a circle. The size of the leaf will be determined by the size of your circle. Put it back into your punch. Again, the, the more you pull it in, the wider your leaf will be, the more you leave it don't push it in, you'll have a smaller leaf. Punch, and then there is your leaf. This is a smaller one, but I needed bigger ones, so I used a bigger punch and I pushed in the circle in uh, deeper. Then you can turn this around if you want small leaves and put it back in again. And punch, and you've got two different size leaves, just like that, super easy. Okay, so let's go back to our cuties for today. Celebrate cards for any occasion. These happen to be for graduation. And then a little home decor with the same lolly and our butterflies and our folder and our ribbon. 
Thanks for being here. I'm sorry I couldn't see your comments, but like I said, I'm going to watch the replay and I will respond to you um, then. All right. You guys have a nice day. We'll see you on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.